The thing is that people spend so much time uh, mocking Trump or waiting for him to be impeached. And the danger with that kind of obsession with a single person is uh, that you don't see the system that produced him, isn't it? You don't see that, uh, obviously, you know, there was something about those 10 years of Obama's presidency that created Trump, you know? And uh, if, if we just keep obsessing about this one person without seeing what would happen, what would happen if he wasn't there tomorrow and Mike Pence came, would it be better, you know? And uh, the, the kind of havoc that has been created in the world, when I think about it now, you know, between Europe and America, increasingly, the simple truth is that these economies can only function by selling the weapons that they manufacture, weapons which you cannot even imagine that the human mind can conceive of, you know? And they are doing the selling and we are doing the buying. And to keep uh, that economy going, you need a world at war or almost at war or just about to go to war or whatever it is, you know? So uh, I, I think still, if you look at, I mean, forget forget the past, you know, but just look at it from 9-11 onwards. How many countries have been destroyed? Europe is now in chaos, also because of the refugees and so on, but what is creating it? You know, how is it possible to continuously believe that you can destabilize country after country after country and anything good is going to come of it?